haven't done a video in a few days on YouTube or um, Instagram. Just been watching a lot of movies um, and shows on this movie site called 123 Movies. Um, it's pretty good. You should go check it out on the internet. You can play it on your phone or your computer. Either way. So as you can see that every Tuesdays is back down live. I got my bell here. Now this is the old old goal for WWE. The last time WWE was in Kingston at the Rogers K Rock Center. Um but I at the end of SmackDown on the last commercial they just promoted that WWE Live WWE is coming back to Kingston on November 21st now November 20th is Survivor Series that's when WWE is going to be in Toronto and Raw is November 21st in Toronto <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to make it to Toronto um, I, I mean a pay-per-view is probably going to be expensive and Raw will be expensive um, it will cost probably a lot more than a live show because a live show is like $20 right um, like $15, $20 depending on your but of course in Kingston it's a lot it's cheap too because I mean like I mean it's a, it's a small arena it's not like you know it's not like Toronto it's not you know Ottawa or Montreal or whatever you know what I mean um, so so yes WWE um, is coming back to Toronto which is really awesome um, I mean sorry coming back to Kingston <laughs> I never thought because I mean it's been a long time because the last time the last time WWE was in Kingston um, it, it kind of failed so I guess this time and it's going to be the same time when WWE is in Toronto. So now, yeah, it'll be cool to go watch Survivor Series or to be at Survivor Series in Toronto, but it will probably, it will probably, probably be different if I lived there. Kingston, so, but now that WWE is coming to Kingston on November 20, November 21st, the same day as Raw in Toronto, um, that's going to make you think. Now the live shows are not as good as, um, you know, the pay-per-views, or Raw, or Raw, or SmackDown Live, like it's not going to be on TV or whatever, right, and that's probably why it's cheap, um, well, you know, but you still get the souvenirs and stuff like that, now, I really hope I don't have to go by myself, I'm really hoping that my sister can come, um, but, you know, paying $40 plus your souvenirs is a lot of money, so hopefully, you know, she can have her own money, um, but I'm 
unfortunately it, it is the third week of the month, so we got to make sure. Well, the tickets go on sale in October, so next month, um, maybe when I get my Trillium, I'll probably pick up my ticket. Once I know that it's on sale, I'll go downtown Kingston. Um, I'll be that'll be around Thanksgiving, right? Because Thanksgiving's October 11th, I think. I don't know. But yeah, man. So I just wanted to do this video here, and I have this is my old belt. I'm hoping when WWE comes to Kingston on November 21st that I can get the new logo belt, or, well, and then I can put this one away, or put it somewhere else, because it'll be nice to get the new logo, you know what I mean, and, I'm not, I mean, these are the fake belts, which are like 30, 35 dollars, even though that's kind of, it should be only like, say, it should only be like 20, um, but of course it's going to be $30 still, that's their price for a fake one, to make it look nice, you know. So if I get a bell, a new belt, or if I get like, yeah, but you don't want to get like, because then you're spending like, fuck, the whole thing will be like 100 bucks. Because you got to think about the ticket, and then you got to get so you want to get like two belts, they're both third at $60, plus the food. <laughs> but I don't usually go for, I don't usually get two, three belts, I usually just get one belt. Um, so, and that'll be the WWE uh, World Champion, Champion belt, which is now AJ Styles, you know. So of course that's on SmackDown. Um, but you know, if I see a certain, or if they have the SmackDown, the blue one, you know, that'll be pretty cool too. But because most times the reason why I don't get the shirts is because they usually only have like one XL. They don't have like a two um, or a three or a four. You know what I mean? So they don't usually have my size. So that's why I usually go for the belts. You know, the belts are more better anyway. Um, you know, for souvenir and stuff. So, but yeah, November, it will be late November. And I'll be 29 at the time. So, so yeah, that will be pretty awesome to see WWE in Kingston again. I can't wait for that. November 21st. But like I said before, it's not a pay-per-view, it's not Raw, it's not SmackDown, it's a live event. It's a house show. But, hey. I was looking forward to going to Toronto for a Survivor Series and Monday Night Raw, but I don't have a car, and the bus will probably be pretty expensive, and then I gotta get a hotel room, you know, because my sister, she doesn't live. She doesn't live in Toronto anymore, so I can't. It's not like I can go sleep at her house for like two nights or one night, you know what I mean? <laughs> so. So anyway, that was my plan for late November. Um, I was going to like leave Sunday during the day and then stay one night at a cheap hotel or whatever. Um... You know, and then come back home Monday and watch Raw at home because I mean, it'd be pretty expensive to go to Survivor Series and Raw and then the WWE event. But if I go to Raw, 
in Toronto, I'm not going to make it to the WWE event in Kingston, you know what I mean, and Kingston, the K-Rock Center, is just downtown, which is like 20 minutes away, <laughs> and the bus fare is only like um, 275, so there I'm back, it's like 550, but of course if I go with my family, if I'm speaking to them at the time, and it's going to be on a Monday, so it's not going to be on a weekend. This time it's going to be during the week, so it might be kind of, it might be too late um, for my aunt. And if people are like in school, like Cassandra and stuff like yeah, so and then if Sarah has to work, hopefully she can be off that day. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not going to go with you know, Selena, because we're not together anymore again, so, you know, I guess, yeah, that's, that's history again, I guess, I don't know, whatever, <laughs> she's not even talking to my family anymore, so, yeah. so anyway, guys, it's been a while, it's been a few days since I, did a video, since, I, since I did a video, but once I saw that WWE is coming back to Kingston, you know, I could have did a video about, oh yeah, WWE is coming back to Toronto, but I mean, that's, that's been out for like a while, right? Everyone, everybody knew that for a while, um, for Survivor Series, but today, they just mentioned today, out of the blue, that they're coming to Kingston. So, yeah, man, I think, because I was going to go with my cousin, I was going to go, and whatever, but it's, it's probably going to be too much money, and it's impossible, because I don't live in Kingston, and then I have to pay probably like $60 for the bus, the pay-per-view is probably going to be expensive, plus the hotel room. Plus the food, so I'm probably looking at like two, three hundred dollars. You know what I mean, <laughs> or or more. You know, probably like three hundred max. You know, I probably wouldn't let it go over three hundred, but that's just that's kind of expensive. You know what I mean, like yeah, where I can just get go to a live show in Kingston, and it's only going to cost me probably like twenty dollars for the show. But of course the souvenirs and the food and stuff, so I'm probably going to spend about a hundred bucks, hopefully. Um, but of course in October, um, when the tickets go on sale, you're not paying it all at once, you're getting the ticket when it goes on sale, and then like the food and the souvenirs, you're paying that when the, the show is happening, like the same day as the show, that's when you buy the food and the drinks and the souvenirs. So you don't buy the ticket the same day, you have to buy the ticket when it goes on sale, you have to buy the ticket. But it's funny though when it comes to the Kingston, because it's a live show, the tickets never get sold out in Kingston. I've never came across that problem where a WWE live ticket was sold out in Kingston. I, because, I mean, it's Kingston, come on, you know what I mean, so, <laughs> so, so, hey, I'm glad that they're coming back, because I never thought that they would come back, because, I mean, like, the last show was a failure, so hopefully, November 21st, and you know what, it's cool, I mean, yes, it'll be awesome to go to Toronto for Survivor Series and for Raw, but... I have the WWE Network, so I can just watch it on TV, I'll probably record it, do a video about it, take some pictures, but for, but for Raw, I'll probably miss Raw, well I can watch it at midnight because Raw is at 8 o'clock, where usually the live event for WWE is at like 7.30. So, yeah, and it's usually, like, a couple hours, so, so, yeah, and it's, and it's gonna be in the winter time, which is gonna be a bitch, 
it's going to be in the winter time, it's going to be near the holidays, it's going to be, wow, around Black Friday, wow, November 21st, well, can't wait, once again, WWE comes to Kingston, can't wait for that. Well, I'm going to end this video, man. My arm's pretty... My arm's going to hurt. It's starting to hurt. <sighs> well, let's end this video here. I can't wait. Once again, November 21st. Hashtag WWE Kingston.